When you and me were both children, how would we both act? I mean, when I think of me acting as a child, I would usually not think about the future outcome of things, and I would usually think about the present moment and the amount of pleasure that I could derive from the present moment. Now let me tell you, I was that kind of kid. You know, I was the kind of kid to always want to gratify myself in the present moment instead of gr gratifying myself in the future and as a result of that i was a very depressed kid and obviously it wasn't only because of my instant gratification habits it was also because of all the social anxiety that i had and moving a lot and saying goodbye to old friends and saying trying to make new friends at my school all these different things right but when you actually learn how to control yourself when you actually learn how to achieve self-control, self-discipline, and even learn, you can learn to regulate your emotions once you learn that valuable skill, then you actually end up far more happier, far more fulfilled, and far easier to control your outcomes of life. So, hence, you know, why you need to stop acting like a child. When you think about how a child acts, what do you actually think? I mean, what you think the exact opposite of the things that I just described. You think about the opposite of self-control. You think about the opposite of independent. You think about the opposite of being a leader. You think about the opposite of all of these things. The, the stereotype of a child, which, I mean, most of it's true, obviously. Most of these things you can take the opposite of, and it would actually be a desirable trait of you to have right? So when I say stop acting like a child, what do I mean? I, s I mean that you need to stop having the, e the exact habits and characteristics of a child. Now, when you say, oh yeah, this is incredibly true, right? Um, I need to stop acting like a child. I need to stop doing this. I need to stop doing that. Or I'm already not a child. Luke, what do you mean? Like, why are you even making this video? Obviously, this is true. Actually, look back on your day and think about everything that you've done everything that maybe you regret, and everything that you feel proud of. Compare those two things. How many more things are there that you would regret that you take back than what you, you know, you are proud of? If there's more things than you regret, or even if there's more than you want that you regret, you need to take this advice. And I guarantee you that all of this stuff that you regret, all of it you want to remove. All of it and you need to remove all of it if you don't even want to if you want to you know achieve the desired outcome of you know becoming very successful achieving financial freedom and essentially achieving all your goals that you've always wanted in life you need to remove that piece that piece of time that you regret doing that you regret spending you know so like you were on your phone or you were masturbating during that time or you were doing something in this chunk of time that you regret you need to completely get rid of that and guess what what do children do they keep this up and they don't give a shit and they don't have any discipline they don't have any motivation to remove this and they don't have any drive to remove this and they don't have any future visualizations expectations for the future in order to remove this they don't have enough drive they don't have enough motivation they don't have enough willpower to add in the amount of time that they are proud of add in the amount of time that it, that is actually pushing them towards their goals stop thinking like a child stop thinking like a boy stop thinking like a kid start thinking as a man now yeah it sounds super cringy and stuff but it's absolutely true why? Because once you take the actual shoes of a man, once you actually, you know, take the actual shoes of coming in, for example, let's say that you're about to do some bad habit. What would a child do? He would partake in that bad habit. God damn, my hair is messed up. What would a child do? Partake in that bad habit. What would a man do? Not partake in that bad habit. Look towards the future. See his happy family. And yes, obviously this one little habit won't do a shit ton in the future. But guess what? Things spiral. And complacency, complacency starts coming into the equation. And then before you know it, you're in the darkest rut that you've ever been in. And this stuff happens quick. Everything happens quick. You start, you know, doing that one puff every single day. And then it turns into 10 and then you buy your own. 
you start trying to do that one thing once every week. Now it turns into once every other day. Now it turns into once a day. But I'm not an addict, right, is what you said at the beginning. And now you're doing it multiple times a day. This is exactly how all of them start through complacency, through acting like a child. When you think about all the addictions that started, all of these things have happened as a result of you acting like a child. Putting your addictions over your actual purpose. Using these addictions to take you away from your goals. Not adding in the exact things that you know that you need to add in to move towards those goals. Stop acting like a child. Keep that in your mind every single day throughout the day. Stop acting like a child. Is this something that a child would do? Yes, it is. So I'm not going to do it. Easier said than done, right? But keep it in your mind. Just keep it in your mind and make it become a part of your subconscious mind. Stop acting like a child. I am the man. See how far that takes you. And especially when you reset your mind like this, when you actually start believing in yourself and you actually start believing that you're the kind of person who can achieve all these things, that's when you can actually achieve them. Have you ever met a bitch who doesn't believe that he can achieve any goal in the world and he's insanely successful? No, you have not. Because that guy's is still a bitch and he's still living in his parents' basement. And what he believed about himself, it all came true. Even if those things were true, it still came true. He's still living in his parents' basement. Who the fuck is, are the people up there? They're the people who believed in themselves. Because in order to take action, right, you need to have at least some amount of self-belief in yourself, right? Or else you would have never taken that action. Start taking the action. Start believing in yourself. Start believing that you are the man. Stop acting like a child. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.